Are we climbing inside of each other? This is hot. <laughs> the ants. That was cool. <laughs> There's a... Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, thanks, whatever. Um, save Bernie Sanders. Cause there he's... we go. <laughs> save Bernie <Yeah>. Sanders. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's the future I want to Free live in. Free right education there. for the zombies. You get the zombies, I'll get this thing. I'm dying. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh. You ready for this? I'm, I'm already doing it. There's nothing wrong with, with being gay or bisexual or transgender. Of course there's not. Or any race or religion or gender. Or, yeah. I mean, if you're a ginger, you know, it's all. Oh, no. You're accepted. going to hell if you're a ginger. Yeah. You no Gingers soul. aren't really accepted as one of the minorities. So here we are playing State of Decay 2. I'm going to kill this zombie. This thing. The screwdriver. Charlie's going to shoot at it. Oh, that was satisfying, wasn't it? I just John Henry that bitch's head. Hey Gunter, there's a oh, uh, cool. zombie. There's fuel over here. That won't let me kill for some reason. Thanks, I Charlie. I guess Charlie fuel. had to kill that. I don't know. Is fuel? I'm assuming that's that's to keep the car going, right? Bro, well, I guess. Yeah, I assume so. Wow. <laughs> I'm as. I don't know. Again, it's I things. played the first one, dude. Yeah. Pile of weapons remains. Got some oh, broken some weaponry. Zomboids. Make some stuff with that. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys. Come on. Bet you can't catch me. Ah! They caught me! Oh, no! Save me, Charlie! Who? Oh, did I say that? Should I switch characters? Oh, I got some parts. Oh, cool. Cool. Can't go through here. It's too wide, too fat to walk through here. For some reason. Oh my goodness! Da zombie. Da. So, uh, so Joey, do you have a apocalypse plan? Apocalypse survival plan? Yeah, probably die within the first two weeks <laughs> like most everybody else would too that's yeah. how exactly how it would go I don't know how to use a gun <laughs> yeah me neither don't know how to use a I mean, gun my, I could probably live like, my old I could probably live off the land for a while but if I encounter any zombies I'm pretty it, much it, done that's assuming the land didn't die around you too because that'd be a possibility true. That's very true. Or like if the animals turned. Well, well. I don't know, because, again, we, we've romanticized the idea of a zombie apocalypse. That people are like, I want it to happen, I want it to happen. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> yeah, that would really suck. Not even like, oh, you wouldn't survive, but what would you have to do if, let's say, the classic scenario of you're bitten, that's how you turn. Yeah. All right, what happens if your wife, your mother, your boyfriend, your child, if they're bitten and they have to turn and you have to put them down? 90% yeah. of people wouldn't be able to fucking do that. Yeah, or they say they would, but when the situation actually occurs, they wouldn't be able to. I had thoughts about, like, all right, well, you know, if, if shit happens... We're gonna have to eat the dogs. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, you're like we're go we're gonna have to. We're secured here. But what happens? You know, we can't make it a block yeah. to the fucking little yeah. convenience store. That's assuming it's not picked over already. Right. You're gonna have to freaking find food, or else you're gonna die. They in trouble. Exactly. And God forbid. I mean, I love my dogs, but those, that's two extra mouths to feed. It's true. Very true. You know, whereas I could just eat them. <laughs> All right, but they, or maybe I could they could kill save myself you, though, and let them like starve. The, the I think they, maybe no, they they're could. too, they're too, they're too stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Oh, uh, Grunt would not. Grunt is eight pounds. Grunt <laughs> would be devoured. I feel like Grunt Assuming would be the zombie we're going. Killer. 
assuming we're going like because again different scenarios you watch fucking the walking dead and the zombies devour animals you watch uh the remake of uh what's the one where they're in the mall uh with Bing what Rains. the movie yeah, yeah yeah it was a remake of a george romero movie it wasn't uh night of the living dead was it day of the dead uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if I've seen it. It's got John Leguizamo. No, John Leguizamo's in the third one. It's got Bing Rames in it. There's a weird zombie baby at one point. I don't know zombie what that baby. was, but uh. That was a screaming zombie. Wait. Attracting all of them. Wait. Like almost out of. In that movie, there, there was a dog that they uh. They sent back and forth between a gun shop. They switched, yeah. or they traded food for guns between this one guy and the people that were in the mall. Oh, and the yeah. zombies left the dog alone. If it were that kind of scenario, Grell would be okay. Rufio would be trying to make friends with all the undead. Oh, really? <laughs> Aww. Oh, Lugo's got one arm. He can pet me. <laughs> Rufio. The cool outpost. I should claim it. It's really up high. I don't think any zombies are getting up here. Probably Speaking small, of which, though. all those scenarios, all the movies, TV shows, all that shit, my favorite one's Walking Dead. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. I really like The Walking Dead Just a lot. the... I like for one pure reason. Humans are the biggest enemies. Yep. And everyone has the disease. If you die a natural death, you're coming back as a fucking zombie. Yeah. I really like that for some yeah. reason. I like that too. Use your sniper rifle up here. Sniper I don't have my sniper rifle. Aww, darn. I yeah, I told you that before we started this shit. Whoops. Before you were like, for, like oh, be entertaining for the people, unlike last time. Are we climbing inside of each other? This is hot. This is sexy. <laughs> I, I guess. That's just, there we go. Now we're legit inside each other. We're one. We're, we're one, one person. <laughs> this is awesome. Good God. Oh, this is awesome. But no, I really like The Best Walking Dead the because it goes into like a lot of the philosophical questions of like what really makes a zombie you know like what's the at what point does it stop becoming someone that you love and start becoming a mindless zombie you know and the I, minute they they die and then come back that's the answer is <laughs> once they're dead they're dead right but i mean there's somewhat if in the show there's somewhat of a blurred line i feel like a little bit they, they kind of there is and that's how bit. people die I see exactly there's like that's that's part of it there's some stuff over here for you to search you're either someone that fucking dies you know immediately because i can't kill you i can't do it or you're a fucking badass like carol yeah and you kill a child that's still human because yeah. she's been killing people see that's what i'm saying it makes you really question like you know, kind of like your philosophies and your morals and what's right and what's wrong. I, I think that's one of the good aspects of the show. You know what the best way to survive that kind of situation is? What? You the be like the people from Terminus. That? You eat people. <laughs> just be like savage. I'll check. And like, you have to be. You have to decide who is important to you. All right, these people and no one else. Yeah. So everyone so else is just meat. So you're under the philosophy that there's like after the zombie apocalypse, there's no humanity left whatsoever. Not at all. You don't think so? You if don't there think is there's any humanity, room? you don't think there's room for humanity in the zombie apocalypse? Hey, let's there head back to the. Be. Let's head back to the place. The yeah, let's do that. I'm full up on so. shit, so. Uh. There is, but at the same time, it, it's one of those shoot first and ask questions later. But yeah, at the same better time, safe you're than sorry. Fuck yourself. Yeah, you know, sure. like say somebody shows up, I'm here to trade, and you're like, fuck that, what you got on you, and you take their shit or you shoot them. Mm -hmm. They could have been a good person. You start a war there. Yeah, or they, they could have had a, a bad compound person, or you know? you know anything. They could have had, could have been just there to help you. Could have missed out on it. But there's no spoilers, but there's a, 
kind of slight spoilers. Nothing uh, huge. I'm not going to ruin anything for you exactly. But there's there's a part where this woman shows up in a van. Okay? Uh-huh. And this is the last season. A uh, woman shows up in a van and she tells, uh, I think it's Maggie at the hilltop. She tells her, I've got plans for your future, but I want this from you. Like supplies and shit. Oh, okay, yeah. And there's this whole moral thing of do we rob her or do we give her what she wants, which is kind of reasonable, but it's, you know, taken away from what we have. Right. Does she have, like, weapons and she's, like, threatening to, like, kill somebody? I think she's she's got two – it's one – it's – one woman with two younger girls, one older woman with two younger chicks, and they're in a van just traveling around. And she says, "I have your future in this book," and it ends up being like plans for uh, like drainage systems and a sewer system, and oh, kind of like they're going back to being medieval and shit. Oh shit! But, That's uh, pretty cool. There's that. There's the whole like moral dilemma of, okay, do we just kill her and take it, or do we trust her? Like, right? What do we do? Especially coming and, from, uh, like, that group where they're supposed to be, like, good and, right. you know, have to but have they've the, had such, you know, bad luck with, uh, you know, being Deacon good. and the Saviors and all that shit. And, mm-hmm. Hold on. You just, come just... over here. Come over where I'm at. There's, like, a okay. shit ton of ammunition. I don't okay, have any I'm room coming. for it, but when, there's, like, a shit ton of ammunition over here. I'm coming. I'm running. I'm running. Ooh, here's a the cardio upgraded. Oh, I can't take it though. That's too much, Damn it. Man. Oh, I just emptied a couple things. Shit. I have to go. Oh, it's a gun shop. Of course there's ammo in there. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, well you can search that one. I can't. I don't like that. What oh that yeah, this one is certain stuff. I don't even know what I just picked up there. I'm starting to fade. Okay. I'm gonna mark this. It's, someone's dying. Who's dying? Someone's dying? It's not me. I would kill for a good cigar right now. Oh, really? I wouldn't actually kill, but... Would you kill a zombie for I might one? do some questionable shit. I would kill a zombie in a video there game you go. for... <laughs> there you go. For a good cigar right now. I'd say one of the best things in life is like a nice not cheap whiskey but like a nice you know, 30 40 dollar bottle of whiskey just a glass of that and a cigar it goes so well together and that'd be really nice in a zombie apocalypse that would be like the greatest thing on earth i like that you just tied that right back in i was talking real life <laughs> i know i know what do you so what do you think is the safest way to move in a zombie apocalypse to like kind of bunker down or like move like nomads always on the move it depends on where it depends on where you're at you don't want to be in a city like where i'm at right now cincinnati would not want to be anywhere around here would not want to be within 30 40 miles of here i'd want to go hit the country where houses are a mile in between each other that kind of shit yeah you're a lot safer like out in the country than you are in the city that's for sure well, that, and you want to factor in, too, if you're going to go the classic, you know, zombies and rigor mortis and all that kind of shit, uh, you want to go where it's cold, too. You're not oh, going to yeah. have a lot of opportunity to grow crops or anything like that, but it's going to slow them down. They might freeze. Worry about less of them, you know? Eat other human beings. Yeah, that's actually really smart. I didn't even think about To that, eat other right? human beings. It would be harder to live, and you would need more like rations, though, to live in colder weather. But it yeah, might be well, I mean, ideally, you'd, you'd want to be in a place where they're not gonna, not like a, a necessarily warm climate, but somewhere where you can grow crops. Yeah, you know, yeah, or have livestock that you don't have to worry about. You know, That's they're true. gonna get eaten. Probably or that kind of have shit. Seasons. Some place with seasons. Oh, yeah. Kentucky would be a good one. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Ohio would be a good one, actually. It's true. Maybe out in the country. Get out in the country. Or even. Ohio. Does Ohio even Indiana have Indiana like, or. Oh, fuck yeah. We just went to the Renaissance Fair uh, last weekend. 
Oh, nice. You get about 25, 30 miles out of here, and it's all, it looks like Indiana. It's all cornfields. and Nice. That's pretty awesome. That kind of shit, like, and that's what you want, too. But at the same time, then you have a bigger area, like a bigger open, you know, all right, here's, you know, 30, 40 zombies that are coming at you just in an open field. Oh, yeah. That's scary. The only plus side of a city would be... More places to hide. If you get more places to hide, more shelter. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. you got to worry about turning every corner, but you're not going to encounter, you know, 50 zombies spread out in a line. Right. You know, they're but all going to be behind you also have the chance other. of seeing more because there's more people, like, populated. So you're more likely to see yeah, someone than you are, say, in, like, a, a building that was out away from a city. But again, are you going to go recently dead or zombies or are you gonna go like legit the dead in the graves or crawling out of their graves rising hmm. you know because if you go out to the sure. country you got all these little like family cemeteries well, sure. in your that backyard is, there are a lot of that stuff I didn't, that I didn't kind of stuff yeah stuff, but yeah you're right it all That's depends gonna... on the scenario so I'm guessing this game doesn't have like night and day cycles and stuff like that does it I think it does. I think they're not, like, super fast or anything. Oh, really? It might be one of those games where it's, like, set on the time, too, where... Huh, that's pretty cool. Know, like, an actual 24-hour cycle. That's pretty cool. Although it's, like, completely dark where I'm at. It's... <laughs> right? <laughs> it's light here. Yeah. The sun not... never goes down in my <laughs> Right. <laughs> it sucks. Disappeared. All right, so here's a question for you. Oh, go ahead. Let's, let's hear it. What do you think would be, like, not the best area, but, like, the best kind of building or... Um, I would have to go with, like, a, either, like, a um, like a Bass Pro Shop or, like, a, uh, you know, one of those places that have a shit ton of guns, like a Dick Sporting Goods. And there's like, you're like up high, there's does, a shit ton of guns, there's like food, you have like camping equipment, you have like all the shit you does need Dick's to survive. Does Dick Sporting Goods sell guns? I mean, maybe not Dick Sporting Goods, I'm thinking like um, Bass Pro Shop and um, I don't know, Dick's might, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not I think they might, I'm not sure. I mean let it's me, Sporting let me Goods, I mean it's kind wrong. of a sport, it's like hunting's a sport, right? I'm okay, gonna tell you why you're wrong. Because the everybody best answer I have ever, I have ever gotten from that. Uh -huh. Yes, everybody else would probably go there because weapons. Yeah. Braden actually has the best strategy there. What's that? You pick a small, unpopulated town. Yeah. And you go to the Walmart. To Walmart. Guns, ammunition, food, camping gear, everything you need. You block the fucking doors with shit. There's so probably a lot of other people in. there, though, that are not going to let That's you why in. you pick a small town. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Of weak, Walmart fat people. would be... Maybe a small town in yeah. Indiana. Of weak, fat Walmart people. Walmart would be... Mm. Or anywhere in the Midwest. Uh, <laughs> Walmart would true. be the best one. Oh. I can't run anymore. Uh, Walmart would be the best one because of that. Because they're the only like big superstore that sells guns and ammunition and also has food. That's true. That's very true. And toiletries and all that shit. You yeah. can wipe your you, ass. You're pretty much and, set up. You know. and, uh, I mean, you can like, take the furniture and like make your own little like fucking house you inside of Walmart. You, you, know? you, you have say, all the like, shit there. You could say like Oh, Target. Target doesn't sell guns. They sell knives and that kind of shit, but Walmart sells guns. That's true. That is very true. What are you drinking? Cheap whiskey. Ah, What's cheap whiskey? Breath. Prestige Distillery. Comes in a plastic bottle. I have never heard of that. That's how cheap Plastic bottle, that means shit. Because <laughs> Jim Beam comes in a plastic bottle, too. Some of them do. Not the size of Some this one, of them though. Do.
a fifth? No. Or you got one of those ones with the handle. Like the, the leader handle, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's an I don't even buy those. I drink all the goddamn time. <laughs> so what do you think the most likely way to create zombies would be? Like, what's the most realistic way we get zombies? It'd be a disease. Not a man-made disease, but... Just like a... It'd be... Nature-made, like, disease. Well, you know the, uh... The ants. That was cool. <laughs> There's a uh, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, thanks, whatever. <laughs> They'll take over the brain of certain animals. Like there's a uh, deer and shit. Oh yeah, love. it's like the fungus. It's like the fungus that takes over the yeah, brain of yeah, so, like yeah. the ants and shit. I've heard about and, that before. Yeah, and there's been cases where they've gotten into bigger predators. Like uh, I want to oh, say deer, but I'm not sure. Damn, yeah, I haven't heard like of that. just That's give them the basic, the basic instinct of eat, you know, eat and destroy yourself basically. And uh, Damn. it's they say it's not like it can't be contracted by humans. It can't. Yeah. But what if it morphed? It could be. Yeah, it's definitely possible that it still could, regardless if it can't now. You're talking uh. Either that or, you know, God's real and he's cursing us. Yeah, it was zombies. Oh my god. But, I mean, you never up. know. I'd be fucked up. <laughs> god tried to get a, a dude to kill his kid. I mean, come on. It's true. It's very but true. It would be that yes. or it would be what's known right now. And that, like, it would be plant-based. Some plant is... Yeah, like fungus. Like some fungus or type of plant would uh, like it wouldn't be, be able to I'd like to say us. maybe a man-made zombie just because that would be in that kind of situation that would be the coolest scenario yeah is we oh, fucked yeah. ourselves <laughs> oh my gosh right there's a tent up but... there. Damn. or voodoo voodoo yeah that's like the real zombie shit isn't it isn't that supposed to be like the Can I get up here is it is it real though? I mean, do we well, know? I have read that there's like this type of um, it's like some type of mixture. I think they get it from the uh, from like puffer fish. That when you um, you put it on the skin or you put it on the skin or ingest it somehow, it like it doesn't kill you, but it like puts you in like this this state that's like close to death. And when you're in this like certain state, like you can be like manipulated a lot easier and like told what to do and stuff like that so in a form it is kind of like you know kind of like a zombie but like they said he was dead and no one saw him for like 10 15 years and then like all of a sudden he like randomly showed up as being alive and like they and like his family and stuff they like watched him be buried and stuff but it turned out he was alive somebody came back and dug him up I that's, no, I've not heard of that. How about that. So, pretty much what it is is that that's what I was telling you about, like the uh, the puffer fish stuff. Oh shit, there's a zombie on me. I so, am gonna need to switch characters because I cannot run. <laughs> yeah, I can't run. Either. I'm out I have, of like, stamina. Zero. I have, like, Let's head back none. and get fresh characters. You're like so close to death, but you're not dead yet. Like you can fool people who are. Who think that you can fool people into thinking that you're dead when actually actually you're not and so what they would do <laughs> is they'd like give these to people and their families and stuff would think they're dead and they'd bury them and then after they were buried they'd go in they would dig them up and then they would like be able to manipulate them into working on their fields and stuff and like being pretty much slaves for them if you uh that you sounds heard really useful <laughs> <laughs> that's it's kind of scary your first thought is that's very useful I mean, it, <laughs> you like, get oh. fucking labor out of them. I mean, <laughs> get some free labor out of this. I'll, I'll have them go and do fuck? my job in the in the factory, and we'll uh, <laughs> start. Which is weird. You don't see a lot of movies or like zombie games like talking about voodoo as a way of, you know, creating zombies. It's all kind of about an infectious disease or some other kind of stuff. What I would like one? to see Skeleton one of those, key. actually. Right? 
or two. Skeleton. Oh, were they... It's not zombies. They switch bodies. Yeah, it's not zombies. Yeah, it's not zombies. It was voodoo, but they, like, put their consciousness in uh, younger bodies to stay alive forever. How the fuck do I switch character? Oh, you have to go to the bed. Yeah, I'm there. I'm at the character screen, but... Oh, it's not letting you... Like, there's two other characters. There's Kenny and Song, which is a stupid fucking name. <laughs> but, how do Professor is kind of Take a control, name. okay. X. I'll get a new character. Press X when you do it. X, okay. Everybody's tired. Everybody is. James That's looks a good to go. Ooh, I don't know if I get to keep rifle. those. Can you not, like, look down the barrel of it? That didn't happen. Well, no. Apparently not. I stare at the barrel of a 45 a lot. Wow. Great song. Fucking fantastic goddamn <laughs> song. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> You're stupid. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yo, what the fuck? Keep an eye out, man. I'm at the, I'm at the guard tower. So, like, if a zombie apocalypse ever did happen, do you think we have the military prowess to like keep it under control or do you think it would all go to shit like in all the movies and stuff people would panic i think that would be the, the biggest. government would probably last honestly the i think the government would last maybe a year or two if but eventually you think they could handle it like your... in a short amount of time like get it under control no, no. yeah Again, if they're continuously coming. Yeah, then, I yeah. guess that's true. If, like, everyone's affected and there's no way to stop the spread of it, it's too late to stop the spread. Exactly. Yeah, if you're going, like, Walking dark. Dead, where, where everyone has it. Like, mm -hmm. you die, you're done. Yeah. You know? Two years tops before it just crumbled. Not even, like, okay, well, you know, the zombies overran us. No, it'd be... Well, because what's, what's the first thing the United States government's going to do in that kind of situation? Secure the president. Right. <laughs> secure this person. Secure everyone that's important. Fuck right. everyone else. Right. You know, just in the hopes of governments getting back to it, we need, you know, stability or whatever. So we need leaders. So they're going to save those important people, and I say that with quotations, because... <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, like, it, it's going to... It would be... Save, save Donald Trump. He will lead us to a new world. <laughs> or Obama, or whoever's president at the fucking time. Save Bernie Sanders, because he's... There we go. <laughs> save Bernie yeah. Sanders. Oh, yeah. that's the future I want to live in. Free right education there. for the zombies. We can... You know, just repurpose them like in Shaun of the Dead. Hey, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that w honestly, that's probably the most realistic one. Is it would be a thing that lasted for a few weeks, and then eventually we get hold of it, and we just repurpose them as as game show contestants and fucking cart pushers at shopping malls and. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty like, smart. That would I be think it. they pretty much nailed I'd it on the head there. And you'd lock me in a fucking shit and we play fucking we play this damn game or something once a week. <laughs> that would be awesome. Like that's that's probably the best goddamn zombie movie too, is Shot of the Dead. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. That's my plan. It's so... Go back to the Winchester, have it's... a nice cold pint and wait for the all to blow over. <laughs> That's my Kill plan. the queen! <laughs> I just got bit. I'm, I'm dying. Zombie movies in general, the best one is Shaun of the Dead. Because it is the most realistic. Like, <laughs> yeah. People panicking. and Where do we go? Let's go to the bar. <laughs> right. You go to your comfort zone. Straight to the bar. That's where I would go to. Do you think, like, you're... Your years of playing video games and watching like zombie themed movies has helped you like do you think it would help you in a zombie apocalypse or do you think it would the like, only be a disadvantage? thing that, that has taught 
the only thing that has taught anyone in any situation, even if it's, all right, you're going to trust people, you're going to do this, the only thing any zombie TV show or movie or comic or anything has taught anyone is aim for the head. Right, yeah. Destroy the brain, destroy That's true. everything. You'd actually have, like... Which is, is true. You kill the brain on any living thing and they're they're done that's very true i guess i guess that is a that's good thing. it i think that's like so the, the only zombie good apocalypse happened you'd have a bunch of fucking wild bill or buffalo bill motherfuckers running around just shoot them in the head shoot them in the head <laughs> right. that's true and that's that's it you think we'd be safer in america where there's guns or like somewhere else where there's not guns I mean, we have a larger abundance of guns in America, and that would help us out in that situation, but would also fuck us, because then you've got people that, they, fuck that group of survivors, kill them. Yeah, who use guns against each Again, other. Again, where's the best place to go? Walmart, where they sell food, camping supplies, and guns. Do other countries have that? <laughs> well, that's very. That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe America is the safest place for the sheer fact of Walmarts. Walmarts are what's going to save America in the zombie apocalypse. God 100%. bless a Walmart. <laughs> God, God bless a Walmart. There you go. God right, bless. Gonna... And God bless America. <laughs> where should we go next? Do you want to go here? I don't know, dude. I'll follow you. I don't give a shit. And I, I love the thought, too, of uh, anyone you talk to. Willie is a good example. I could survive the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I could. I've, wa I've watched enough TV and movies. I could. You think that's all it would take, though, is just watching enough TV and movies? No, it would take fucking... The people that are going to survive are going to be the guys that go out for two weeks at a time on survival trips where they take the the basic amount of rations yep and go yep. hunting for their supplies and shit yep That's... or military or it's those are the people that are going to survive the people that aren't afraid to pull the trigger on people too whether oh, yeah. it be a zombie or a human that's yep. i think you're exactly right there most people would die i feel like if the military couldn't control it probably everybody would die and I guess it also depends on like what zo what type of zombies too, because if we're talking Left for Dead zombies, you're pretty much fucked. There's no surviving that. But if you're talking maybe like that Walking Dead zombies, it's po I think it's possible if you wait them out long enough. That's another thing that gets me is is like how do you know what it would like what kind of zombies it would be? Yeah, there's no. There's no you way know, of really knowing. They're six years in. Mm -hmm. You've got people that have been dead since the beginning. Why do they still have eyeballs? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Wouldn't Isn't that one of the first fucking things to go? How can they still see? Wouldn't the eyeballs, like, yeah. disintegrate? I don't think zombies fucking, really see you know, anyway. They do, no, because the, that's just... one of the things they, the hearing and all that too, but also eardrums. Yeah. If they're constantly rotting. Oh yeah, their eardrums are eventually why gonna... are they? That's a good point. Uh, yeah. It's actually a really good Sweet. point. Better keep my distance. Like that's, I mean, uh, at this point in The Walking Dead, they should just have walking skeletons, but that's not possible because joints and ligaments and all that shit decay. I know it takes a while, but eventually... You're just going to be dealing with a skull chattering at you with no lower jaw. Just the brain still intact, say that doesn't rot. But, you know. Do you think if, like, all the flesh rotted off and they were just skeletons, would they even still be alive at that point? I mean, what's really... Well, they'd be alive, but again, ligaments, joints, all that kind of shit, those rot too. Eventually, and if all that stuff have... rotted off, I mean, there would be no movement left. I mean, it wouldn't just be a skeleton because it's skeleton. They just... would fall apart, and it would be the upper jaw and 
a skull. Just. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's why it's not that goddamn scary. You hold out for if if you're one of the lucky ones, you hold out for five or ten fucking years. Even in a Walking Dead scenario where everyone has it, when someone dies, just shoot them in the head. They're not coming back. Say the brain doesn't deteriorate for some reason. The infection makes the brain stay intact, but they've shown rotting on all of these TV shows and movies. They're rotting corpses walking. Yeah. That's why they walk slow, rigor mortis, you know? That's why I hate running zombies. But uh, Very unrealistic. Me too. Like... Are but you ready to do this? You ready hold, to go out? You hold out. Yeah, I'm good. I'm right here. Let's go. But you hold out 10 years, and all you got to deal with is nothing. Yeah. At some point, they're, yeah, they're all going to be... They're all going to be dead. All right, we're going this way. Because, I mean, they'll eventually all decay. And I guess it really just depends on how, you know... I mean, if there's constantly new, like, more and new people becoming zombies, I can kind of see it. But as long as, it's like, you stay away for a while, you're eventually going to run exactly. out. Exactly. Even if you if you dig up a 10-year-old corpse right now, more than likely it's mostly a skeleton at this point. Oh, yeah. Like, again, going back into why I hate running zombies. Like, fuck it, what was the... Uh... The one with the guy that played Scarecrow. Fuck. Twenty eight sure. days later. Oh yeah. Where they yeah. get infected by all that shit. Okay, they're newly dead. They're running. They're swarming. Mm -hmm. They eventually starve out. Like that was cool. But zombies, zombies wouldn't run unless they're you know freshly dead. Right. You know, and everything's intact, and you're talking, what, three, four days tops? Oh, yeah, that they're actually able to run, and all their stuff. And that's assuming, you know, oh my that's God. assuming, too, that that the infection, you know, slows down the rigor mortis process, or the decaying process, and that kind of shit. Yeah. Eventually, it's going to hit their rotting flesh. It's just... True. Just a matter of time. Just gotta wait them out. It's a matter of time. It's a waiting game at that point. I feel like that's pretty much the safest, your safest survival technique is just staying safe long enough. At some point. What's Hold up. up. Hold up. Ooh, we're, Kill ooh. that one. What's that thing on the map? Ooh, Holy shit. I don't know. But hold up. Don't move. I'm gonna do a shadow escape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, what is in here? I hope I had a flashlight. Maybe someone would want this. Ooh, this thing's gross looking. Did you kill this? Beat this thing up. This take forever. Supposed to destroy it. Ooh, there's zombies coming in. Oh my goodness. I think it's almost down. You get the zombies. I'll get this thing. I'm dying. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. Not good. We shouldn't have done this. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You're fine, maybe. It's almost dead. I'm dying. It's almost dead. This big nasty... Out of stamina. ...gunk thing. I'm getting bitten. Let's keep him off. Yeah, there you go. Keep them there off with my low health. Yeah, there you sure. go. You got this. Here. You need to keep them off while I'm fucking... Look, all right. How do I open the inventory? Let's search this stuff and get going. I need to heal myself. Hold the fuck on, bitch. I got parts. I got a box of seeds. And I got so a copy of the here, encyclopedia. <laughs> That's nice. Hear something in here. Yeah, sure. Oh, man. oh. Saved you. There you go. I saved oh. myself. Gunter, Gunter, I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. I, okay, you you got it. Got I was it. gonna shoot him, but oh, that would have worked too. Next one we see. Shoot get him. him. All right. You 
and get the next one. Let's see. I'll let you do that. Getting this. And get shots. Leave it alone and keep going. I found some good stuff. I found some good stuff. Okay, you're right. You're right, though. Let's just keep going. I think... I think that's about oh, it for the stream, though. You have anything else to add? Zombies anything? aren't real. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll never happen. When you die, you die. I think that's pretty good advice, actually. It's... And if you think you can survive a zombie apocalypse with ever out, with ever, with not ever shooting a gun or being in any kind of combat situation, you're fucking stupid. You are stupid. It's very true. It's very true. So just, just remember these, just, what, what, what? 